Hi guys, it's Shani Bennett. I just wanted to do a really quick video. Um, I did a couple of videos for my students this week and it was around like a, like a big picture strategy of how all the funnel, online sales funnels work together. So, you know, when to use a webinar funnel, when to use an appointment funnel and how to use a sales funnel and how a website funnel fits into all of that. Like think about all these funnels like all glued together now. So anyway, I did the video and it was for my students that I couldn't help but thinking as I did it that you guys might really benefit and love that video as well. So I'm gonna um, uh, give you guys access to that video and I would love to know what you guys think. If you like the video, then please select like under the video or press subscribe, uh, give me some feedback. I hate it when like all my videos go out to crickets but Anyway, have a great weekend, guys. I hope you enjoy it and that you get something for your life and your business. Peace out. Okay, bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to today's webinar. It's Shani Bennett, and I just want to... My microphone was kind of off. I'm back. I'm back. All right. Hi, guys. It's Shani Bennett, and I want to welcome you to today's webinar. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about how we sell with sales funnels, okay? Sales pages um, to get our message across, okay? So I'm literally going to share my screen, and we are going to go through a few distinctions first, okay? I know you saw those pumpkins there, and you're probably thinking, what the hell is that about? But <laughs> I'll... Um, Bring it to a head in a minute, guys. I just really want to talk about our journey today, right? So if you're selling uh, services or um, products, okay? So basically when you're selling services, that's usually your time, your expertise, you know, some sort of packaging up of your products into a course, okay? And when you're selling products, that's usually selling some form of, you know, physical product, uh, you know, something that you might put in your garage or you might drop ship or just basically something that is a product base. It's like physical that you can send out versus say knowledge, which is like, um, you know, more like the services side of things. So it doesn't mean it can't become a product. We call that a productized product without using too many fancy words there. Um, but ultimately they're kind of like your two big apples when it comes to an online business, right? And so really, whether you're, you know, um, a local business or a service provider or e-commerce or network marketer, you're going to be selling one or the other, okay? So it's like, um, let's look at, you know, uh, who is it sort of for? So we've got service providers, we've got local businesses, we've got e-commerce and we've got network marketers, All right? Now, these are the what we call the types of businesses. This is like the types of businesses that you are and then we've got the application of those types to either a product or service or both, all right? Guys, can you see how I'm bringing that together? All right, so the first question is, what type of business are you? And the next question is, what do you sell? Okay, and so that's like the next piece of the puzzle that needs to be put together, all right? Now, depending on the type of business you are and depending on what you sell, you need a mechanism to sell it, a mechanism to sell it, all right? Now, look, when you're small, you can go out and hand sell your products. Like, like literally I could go outside my house and go down to the local networking, bloody big, what do you call it? Uh, those breakfast, B and I breakfast. And I could start pitching my stuff in those uh, networking things. Or I could call, call people up. I could get directories. I could letterbox drop even like all of this crap. All right. So that when you're small, you can do that, right? You can do anything when you're just building a business really from scratch, you know, to something under 10 grand, okay? You can be agile like that and just run around and sell your products by hand. But a mechanism to sell it is what's required to really leap out. You know, I'm talking about, you know, beyond five grand per month. You know, I'm talking about beyond 10 grand per month. 
You know, I'm talking about getting to 20 grand per month ultimately, right? So the mechanism to sell it is probably one thing. Actually, I want to bring this further down. This is really like, you know, once you start automating your business, this is like automating your business, you can scale your business. You can grow your business. Okay. So here we are. We've got the concepts of zero per month, five grand per month, zero grand per month. We've got five grand per month. We've got 10 grand a month and 20 grand a month. Okay. Now, Obviously, you might be aiming for 100 grand a month, but I want you to park that on the side here because ultimately you can't get to that point unless you get to 20 grand a month first. So, you know, um, we usually deal with scaling strategies in separate sort of uh, parcels. So right now I want to, you know, I guess I'm assuming that for your business online at least, that you're, you know, still in the process of reaching a target online result. Okay, so between what do you sell and how, what, uh, what type of business are you, you know, then obviously between that is some sort of how do you sell whatever you're doing? How do you sell it? Okay, how do you sell it is the next question, this mechanism that we're talking about. And there's really four, there's, there's really like um, how do you sell it? Let me just bring this down because I need to do another thing here. The first thought process for most people is to hand sell it or build a website. Okay. Now the thing about a website is that there's a hundred links. I'm going to use a client of ours. You know, he probably hates me using this as an example, but I have to because it sort of showcases exactly why I don't want websites. Okay. Let's bring it up. Um, Kevin Hodges real estate. Okay. So here on the website, you've got like basically this sort of thing, right? See how we've got a hundred links here. Um, you know, we've got a, like all these different things. We've got a like call us button, but look, you know, we manage properties all over Adelaide, a free newsletter, you know, it, it's sort of SA rental management. Um, we've got all of these different things here, buyers, agents, landlords, tenants, you know, supporting our community. You've just got a bunch of what I would call sort of ineffective sort of pages, you know, basically sending people out to communities and things like that versus like an actual conversion, which is say someone coming to this side and saying, I would really like to um, get my property listed with you guys. Like how can you help me list my property so that I have a tenant in it? Okay. So the first thought people have, and even with e-commerce, like if you just go to, um, you know, any sort of e-commerce store, uh, let me have a look. What's a good example? You know, any sort of e-commerce store where you're selling something, um, you're sort of forced to sort of go through this website where basically the pages are, are not well laid out. You know, there's lots of different links and ultimately people can sort of, you know, go anywhere they want. Okay. So this is kind of like browsing around and this is really you soliciting people. Okay. Soliciting people. All right. So they're like your two mechanisms. Um, like the first thought that you might have, you know, hand selling it. This is like cold calling, networking, directories, contacts, referrals, all of that sort of stuff. And then websites is like trying to be online somehow with a, with a website, like you can sort of see here with this sort of client. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to avoid doing all of this hand selling, right? So really, you know, even with it comes to my business in the old days, I was doing a lot of that stuff. And now I don't do that. I don't have coffees with people. I don't run around and waste my time with that sort of stuff, hand selling my services, or even when we're running the e-commerce store, you know, I was like, not, you know, wanting, wanting to, um, not wanting to hand sell those either. And then with a website with people browsing around, what we found is it had a really low conversion rate. What that meant as a, as a percentage of visitors, say we got a hundred visitors, we would probably get like, you know, maybe a half a percent conversion. That means we needed 200 visitors to get one person to buy. And it, it probably wasn't even that great. It was probably worse than that. Okay. So because of that low conversion rate, uh, we could, you know, I had to conclude that this was ineffective. 
right? It just was totally ineffective. All right. So that's when I kind of broke into funnels and I started realizing that how you sell it is about directing people to where you want them to go. All right. So it's kind of like taking this focus of, oh yeah, come onto my website and browse around. It's like actually saying, um, uh, you know, it's it's like, I'm going to direct you where I want you to go so that you can make a decision to buy or not. Okay. So it's more specific. It's more directed. Um, and so really what I've come to find is there's really four types of funnels, all right? What we have is a webinar funnel, okay? What that is, is it's um, positioning um, a product, positioning a product or service or service on a webinar so that people, so that people understand what it is, what it is, and know how, and know why they should buy it and and then they are directed to buy all right this is on a webinar guys okay so this is like what we're trying to do let me just zoom out of here a bit hopefully you you guys can still see this all right okay so there we go there's one funnel positioning a product or service on a webinar so that people understand what it is and know why they should buy it and then they are directed to buy All right. And then at the end of that, like the actual conversion event here is going to be an opt in for the webinar registration, which means you get an email address. You you know, that's a really major win if you get that. And then a sale. Right. This is when somebody basically buys from you. Right. So that's like the point of it. It's like, why do all of this unless there's a point? And so really with a webinar funnel, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make that point clear to the person who's on the webinar so that they can just make a decision or not. So they can either buy then or buy later or never buy. Like they could leave the list or something like that. All right. So it's like very binary guys. You sort of know where you stand with people and the similar thing with the appointment funnel. Okay. Similar, similar thing, right? With the appointment funnel. Yeah. Let me just check something. Uh, Okay, I'm back again, guys. Um, So with the appointment funnel, the goal here is to position a strategy or a set of strategies and highlight to the person that they should get more help for those strategies okay by booking a call with you or your team okay that's the point of an appointment funnel and out of that you get the same thing you get an opt-in okay you get the webinar edge usually the appointment funnel is done with a webinar and then you get the conversion which is a booking in this case it's an appointment is booked okay so um So that's like very clear cut guys. See how I've just cut through all the mustard there and just said, okay, these are two ways that you can position products or services and then have someone call you to talk about basically buying those products or services or they buy straight off a webinar. This is like buying straight off a webinar and this is buying, you know, later on a sales call on a sales call, right? It doesn't, you know, it just means that we've got, you know, I guess more uh, ability to influence the conversation when, when we speak to them. Okay. And so then out of that, I would say that, that, that applies for products and services, but it mostly applies to service-based businesses um, or even local businesses that are wanting to educate people on what they do and how they do it. So then the missing link in the whole equation was always this sort of sales funnel. Like, okay, this is positioning, positioning a product or service to a person so they know why they need it and how they can benefit, okay? And we are how they can benefit so that they so that they can make 
a decision to purchase or not. Okay, so that means when someone lands on these sales pages, we're literally expecting sort of similar things. We want an opt in. To, we want an opt in to see the value. Okay. Ideally, you want to create that to see the value. All right, and then you literally want to ask for a sale. This is like where someone buys from you. Okay, so this is what we're doing with the sales funnel. Okay. So you can do this, you can have video, you can use videos on here, you can use, you know, as soon as you use a video, you're really making it a webinar funnel really in terms of how I think about it. But I'm going to show you a sales funnel in a minute so you can sort of see what I am actually talking about. All right, so here we go. Here's a sales funnel um, and that's like a mechanism for you to showcase your product and, and lead people to a buying decision, okay? And so then out of this, we have one last um, piece of the puzzle. And this is really a, a website funnel, okay? And like, it's like the catch all of it. It's like, um, if I'm, like I said, this is like where I position my funnels for people to go into. Okay, so this, the, the selling process is happening on this funnel. Like if they say, if you market well enough, you never have to sell. And I totally agree with that. On here, we have a specific purpose, a specific objective for the webinar to achieve an opt-in and a sale. Here, we have a specific purpose, a specific objective to achieve an opt-in and an appointment. And here, we have a specific a pur a purpose uh, to achieve an opt-in and a sale. And it's like, well, what happens if a person doesn't end up in these funnels? So it's almost like what I want to do, <clears throat> pardon me, guys, is I want to draw it like this. So it's like they could start off at the website funnel. You know, they could start their journey, you know, landing on your website. But all you want to do is have them move into your funnels. Okay, position my funnels for people to go into. All right, so basically directing people to where you want them to go. What we talk about here is, is this is traffic we control and this is traffic we don't control, okay? So this is like more likely Google, Google browsing traffic, Google browsing traffic, traffic and or just people landing in your domain and this is more likely some sort of directed traffic like Facebook ads or any kind of ads really um, or you know just trying to direct people to a to a succinct page versus you know getting lost in the labyrinth of what a web website traditionally looks like as you can see guys this is a traditional looking website where people are, you know, drawn very thinly across everything. And what it does is it detracts from the conversion event. Okay. So really what we want to do is we want to basically take control of all of our traffic and we make sure that we optimize the conversion of all of it. Okay. We want to optimize, direct people to where you want them to go and optimize the traffic. Okay, that's like why we're doing this piece of it. All right, so the combination of these four things depends on what you're doing as a business. Okay, if you're a service, if you're a services business, you will definitely want um, a, a webinar funnel or an appointment funnel. Okay, um, if you're a, a network marketer, then I would say you probably want to you know position your network marketing company on a webinar and then draw people into a conversation. All right. If you're a local business, you probably want to have a combination of, you know, I'd say a, a, a webinar as a network marketer, you can actually sell straight on the webinar as well. Uh, a local business can, this can apply to like think of an accountant, financial planner, share trader, uh, any sort of property manager, any sort of real estate agent. Um, this is usually how these 
you guys sell. All right, but that doesn't mean you can't sell also through a sales funnel as well. The only thing I would say is that e-commerce is traditionally sort of done through a sales funnel, um, even if we're using video in there to, to sort of sell the things. So really I'd say between all three, whether whatever you're doing, you could probably find a way you know, to justify building each of these funnels. It's just that, you know, depending on what you're doing specifically will depend on what type of funnel you want to build. And then I'd say for all our businesses, you probably want to, you know, optimize your website for conversion so that no matter where the traffic's landing, whether they're landing directly into your funnels or whether they're landing into your website, that you're going to basically maximize that opportunity achieve the email address while you're there and then basically position your offering to that person so that they can make a decision from you or not in that moment. And I guess the important thing here is that throughout all of this, we have an enormous amount of leverage because on the webinar, you can record it once and then keep it going, which means that you can actually have this like a sales agent on the road selling for you day after day. Uh, same thing with the appointment funnel. You can lead any potential prospect through this funnel and say, you know, if this is of interest to you, reach out, book a call. And that way you're qualifying people and it just saves so much time. Like in real terms, I think I would have saved 20 hours a week just from implementing these strategies at least, if not more. Sales funnel, same thing. Think about this like a little mini salesman on the road for you, working for you. And then all I'd say with a website funnel is you are literally saying, okay, guys, um, you know, you come to my come to your website and you, you know, you position your sales funnel on there, you position your appointment funnel, you position your uh, webinar funnel, and you also make it about branding. You know, you position your story, like who you are and what you're about, you know, help people understand like what you're doing. Um, but it's like not a selling mechanism per se. It's more like a branding mechanism. It's more like for context. It's like a context context of the bigger picture. And then we're doing the detailed work all through here. Okay. Guys, can you see how I've done that? And, and you can just put one in place for now, one of these funnels, or you can place put in place all three. But I'll tell you what, guys, your business will change if you sort of can get your head around this funnel structure and start to basically take this traffic situation seriously. All right, so I just want to recap on this, guys. So let's look at, you know, whatever business you are, you know, you need to be clear on what type of business you are and then understanding what do you sell, services or products or a combination of both. All right, what is your target online? You know, put it this way, you can sort of hand sell anything up to, you know, five grand, 10 grand, even 20 grand a month. But to really crank it up, you have to get yourself out of your selling mechanism and you need to work out how do you sell those products and services those products and services, products and services, and you need to you need to automate that. You need to get out of the equation so you're not in it. Otherwise, you could never scale to a hundred grand a month because you're just too busy churning your machine. I know for a lot of you guys out there, unless you work out, unless you're churning in your your machine or your rat race, I guess, um, you know it's it. it it's, it's hard to get that sort of result. It's like if you stop, if you get sick for a couple of days, the whole business model stops. All right. So really what these are is like, you know, sales agents that sell on your behalf 24 by 7. Okay. And that's really it. It's so powerful, guys. And so many people miss it. Well, they, they clasp onto straws about, you know, old school websites and say, you know, maybe if I change the banner or maybe if I change the fonts, it'll make a difference. Guys, I, it won't make a difference. None of that makes a difference. What you need to do is you need to direct people to where you want them to go, optimize that traffic, get the opt-in. Right, then you can sell to them later. Then you want to position something via a webinar or a video or a presentation or some sort of sales funnel that outlines what it is that you're doing. And once, if, once a person has seen that, they understand what you're offering, then you want to invite them to buy or not. And then your ability to do that will determine your results. Okay, guys, so this is really 
I, I've, you know, I've kind of changed direction a bit on this video. I wanted to give you a context um, first before I went into the detail of these funnels. This is like, you know, the bigger picture when it comes to your, uh, with, with your funnels and your online business and what you need to consider. So, okay, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you all soon.